The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Now, back to your turn on 1330 WEBY, Northwest Florida's talk radio. The phone lines are open, so call in and join the conversation at 623-1330. And now, the Commander-in-Chief is back. Freedom Friday with Carl Gallops, the Oval Office of Gulf Coast Talk Radio. All right, and we are back. Welcome back, Gulf Coast. Welcome back, America. Welcome back, world. And here's the segment that you've been holding your breath for and been waiting for. And I know that our live stream is probably going to be jammed again, even though we've doubled the stream capacity. But Lieutenant Mike Zulo is with us, and most of you know a Lieutenant Mike by now. He's very famous to the Freedom Friday show. Uh, Lieutenant Mike Zulo is the lead investigator of the Cold Case Posse, Sheriff Arpaio, uh, on the uh, fraudulent document issue. And uh, Lieutenant Mike and I were the ones that went to CPAC together. We went on to Capitol Hill together. We've been talking to some VIPs around the nation and around Washington together, trying to break open a federal investigation here. And uh, possibly, possibly, no promises being made, but we do, we have made some contact with some VIPs. And there's the possibility that some investigation, state and or federal, will get going in the next few months. That's our hope. And uh, so you folks keep us in prayer as we keep moving forward. Lieutenant Mike, thank you for being on the show. And, I, and I'm going to tell you, you and I have had a, we can't say what, and we're not going to, but we've had a pretty hectic day today, haven't we? <laughs> Carl, it's been a day like uh, Alice in Wonderland never experienced. I know. Hey, but one thing we know, people in Washington, D.C. listen to Freedom Friday. We know that for a fact. We've been knowing that, but today we got confirmation of it, didn't we? Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. There, there are people that listen to this show and that know our names, <laughs> and that's not a good thing necessarily. But, uh, but Lieutenant Mike and I have had uh, one heck of a day as we have uh, watched the top spin and as we have uh, been down the rabbit hole into Alice in Wonderland. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll divulge a lot of that, and in the upcoming weeks, uh, we'll put some names and some faces and some documents up for you to look at. Uh, but in the meantime... Let's just get right down to this. Folks, hear me. For this next 30-minute segment, here's what's going to happen. Uh, Lieutenant Mike and I are just going to talk about this. Um, we're not going to take any calls for this 30-minute segment, and we've got, we had that plan. So, so it, it, in case you're a little upset about that, let me remind you, next Friday, we're doing a special edition of Freedom Friday. The first 30 minutes, I'll do some intro, and, and I've got Ted Shubat coming on. I've had him lined up for months. But then for the next hour and a half of next Friday's two-hour segment, Lieutenant Mike Zulo is going to be on live. And we're going to just open the phone lines and let you go. You can ask questions. You can grill and drill us. You can, uh, you can agree. You can disagree. You can challenge Lieutenant Mike. We will not be ugly to you. We will not disrespect you. Uh, we will let you challenge. We will let you uh, ask questions. Because Lieutenant Zulo has nothing to hide, and he will tell you everything that he can lawfully tell you. There's still a criminal investigation going on, so there's some details he can't tell you. But he'll tell you everything he can lawfully tell you and answer any question or concern you have. But folks, once you know the depth and the level of the severity of this, um, you, you know, then you're armed with the truth. And what we ask is that you tell people Tell people, blog about it, write about it, call, email, uh, get people listening to the show. Uh, we'll podcast this. We'll put videos up. Uh, uh, direct people to it. Get your get your congressmen involved in this. And if you know judges and attorney generals and governors, if you have contacts with uh, uh, state representatives, etc., um, get them involved in in the knowledge of this because this is huge and it's getting bigger. Am I right, Lieutenant Mike? Yes, yes, you're one hundred percent right. Well, and I and I want to thank you for the opportunity to be able to interact next week with uh, you know the people that listen to your the channel. I, I think they deserve it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. And you've been very gracious over the years to give us a lot of your time. And I know that you're crazy busy and you're just jerked and pulled in all directions all over the nation. But you always seem to t find time for the Freedom Friday folks. And I appreciate that. Well, listen, Mike, explain to the people that this is no longer a birther issue. Explain that philosophy and tell them what issue this is and where this is headed and what it is that you're trying to do. I mean, we're trying to kind of change the conversation here. Explain it to folks. If you go back even to the very beginning, the very first press conference, Sheriff Arpaio and I held, we were maintaining that this is about document fraud. It's not a birther issue. This term birther is a categorized phrase that um, the media has made up 
to, you know, basically denigrate anyone wanting to look into this issue. Right. And they're, they're using it successfully. And it's a method of intimidation it's, and ridicule. It's been taken right out of a Saul Alinsky playbook. Yeah. On ridicule, it's very, very difficult to defend. When someone starts to ridicule you over something, any defense actually just leads to more persecution. And we, uh, Sheriff and I have sat down and we really discussed this at length. And, you know, we're handicapped. The media obviously is not friendly, mainstream media, not friendly to this issue. The administration certainly isn't friendly to this issue. Right. And we have a big job ahead of us. And what we want to do is we want to reframe the narrative. Right. And this is about a criminal law enforcement investigation into document forgery. There is just nothing else about it. Right. It doesn't matter to us at this point in time where anybody was born. Right. And it's a fraudulent document. Yeah. And and let me let me just speak some things. My my understanding of it, and again, as always, Lieutenant Zulo, if I say anything that's incorrect, you correct it right here. It won't hurt my feelings. I want you to do that. But let me just say, I, I wanna say I wanna put an exclamation point on what Lieutenant Mike just said. At this point, we really don't care where he was born. Now, now hear me. I do care, and it does go to the Constitution, but this issue that we're bringing forth, and the reason we went to CPAC and the reason we went to Capitol Hill is not at this point necessarily about where he was born. See, we could find out that he was born right here in the United States, and we could find out, I doubt it, but we could find out that both of his parents were American citizens at the time of his birth, which makes him natural born. We could find all that out. The problem is the document, the only identifying document that he and the White House have ever brought forward as his identifying document has now been proven in a 15-month criminal investigation signed off by digital document experts who are certified to testify in federal court, now it has been determined that the only document he's ever proffered is a fabrication. It's a forgery. It's a fake, which is a felony and a federal crime. And then that goes to two more important questions. Number one, who did it? And number two, why? Why would the President of the United States have to present a fabricated document as his only form of identification? Did I articulate that correctly? I don't think I could have done it any better myself. <laughs> well, I've given that speech so many times. <laughs> how, many, how many times did you hear me say that at CPAC and, and on Capitol Hill? I mean, over and over and over. Sometimes I dream giving that speech, but it's, tr it's just truth. And you know, Mike, you and I have talked about this. I, I, I can always hold my head up, and so can you, and so can Sheriff Arpaio, no matter which way this falls. I mean, even if it's completely ignored, because number one, the truth is going to come out on this, even if it's 20 years from now. I mean, history always has a way of bringing truth to the top. The truth will come out, and all you and I are dealing in are facts, and all we want is the truth. And if something came into your office tomorrow that proved everything you have is no good and that he is perfectly legitimate, you would tell it, wouldn't you? You know, that was the risk I ran in the very beginning. I mean, there could be anything. I think I said it in the very beginning of our investigation. We could be working a year, two years, three years on this, and then all of a sudden one piece of information comes in and neutralizes everything we worked on because it's a game changer. Right. Except I don't believe there's going to be a game changer. Well, it doesn't look like it because the preponderance of evidence you have thus far makes it almost impossible that there will be a game changer. But you are honest enough, and I am honest enough to say, that if the game changer comes in, we will report it, and we will uh, acknowledge it, and we will expose it, correct? Yes, that is absolutely correct. Absolutely. All I want, all I have ever wanted in this, and folks, by the way, I kind of started on this before we, um, but I kind of started on this before uh, the, uh, before the Zulu investigation started, before the Arpaio investigation started. So I've been at this for a long time. I, I tell you what, Mike, let's do this. Let's take a break. We've got to take a break right now. And when we come back, let's tell the folks about the Lieutenant Colonel uh, Allen West situation, okay? Absolutely. Okay, good deal. Folks, you're listening to Freedom Friday with Carl Gallows, Lieutenant Mike Zulo, our guest today. We've got a lot more stuff to give you. We'll be right back. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. 